Hello and welcome. Good evening. It's time for iPhone Friday. I'm your host, Bill Skledowski. Every Friday at this time, we do another little um, lesson on how to best use your iPhone or iPad. As it says there, we do everything iPhone and iPad. And I mention that because if you have an iPhone and an iPad, they work exactly the same, at least for now. That may change in years to come, but you know we'll deal with that when the time comes. So iPhone Friday tonight, I thought we would talk about how to use the search function on your iPhone or iPad to find anything, anyone, all kinds of stuff. Now, we had talked in the past um, about using the uh, Siri search function for all kinds of things. This is a different kind of search. So really on your iPhone or iPad, just for the future, just remember whenever I say iPhone, I also mean iPad. Make it easy on us. Make it easy on us both. There's two kinds of searching you can do on your iPhone, and one of them is with Siri. So if I were to bring up, well, let's do it. Let's jump over real quick like that, and, and uh, let me show you what we're talking about uh, on the phone. Of course, depending on your phone, you may or may not have it set to respond to, you know, hey, Siri, I don't. So I'm going to press on my phone, on my old iPhone 8, I press and hold the bottom button. If you have a different one, you pre if you have one that doesn't have a physical home button, you're going to press and hold on one of the uh, on the uh, slide switch on the right there, I believe. All right. So either way, the easiest thing is just to you know allow it to recognize, hey Siri. But if you do a Siri search, it's more about things either on the internet or near you, or you know to navigate or to find something. Physical, I mean, some real thing. So if I were to say, you know, press and hold and go, coffee shop near me. Here's what I found. Here's what I found. He found the Dunkin' Donuts and Caribou and Starbucks and all kinds of things like that. So you can use that for all sorts of different stuff. And if you have someone in your contact list, you can use it to make a phone call or a text message or an email. We've talked about that, and we'll have more on Siri, by the way, at the end of the program, so uh, don't forget about that. But rewind a little bit. Tonight, I want to talk about using the other search function, which helps you find stuff that's on your phone. How's that? Or iPad, as the case may be. And we get to that by just sliding down on the screen. So what I tell folks is aim for something that's not a button or an icon or an app. Same thing, right? So I have the bottom of my home screen, the bottom half of my home screen is, is empty. As you can see, I just have wallpaper there. So if I put literally put my finger right there and I pull down, you get to the search function. Got it? Now remember, this is different then if I put my finger literally at the top of the screen and roll over, that way I get all the notifications. You know, you missed a text message from Bob, you missed a phone call from Susie, you missed a, whatever. Those are notifications. Different, different move. I'm putting my finger right on it and pulling down. And when I do, I get to this search function that you see on the screen right now. All right, what can I search for with that? Well, the answer is anything that's on my phone. Okay? So, uh, you could, and by the way, you can either type it or speak it. We'll do both just to show you what I'm talking about. But if I were to type, for example, you know my favorite, if I were to type pizza onto my phone, all right, and I do the search, well, look what comes up. I've got an app for a local pizza store. I've got pizza sauce on my reminder grocery list there. I've got Shaq Pizza. I have no idea what Shaquille O'Neal has to do with pizza, but he's on my phone, all right? And then there's some emails that I got from Pizza Hut trying to sell me there. And then I've got a uh, local pizza place in my contacts. And I've got some other stuff, some other emails, some other you know, maps to local pizza places, suggested websites. You can, I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on, right? So the phone is going to show you stuff that's on your phone. So, and, and it tells you what they are. Like you can see the first one, it says applications. Reminders, files, just keep going. Email, contacts. Uh, Outlook is another email program I used a long time ago. Maps, suggested websites. Uh, Siri knowledge, pizza, I like that. Okay, USDA nutritional facts. And my notes as well, okay? So anything that's on my phone, I can use the search function to find it, okay? You can also do this, by the way, 
tapping on cancel there and it goes away. You can also do this with people. So if I'm looking for information about, uh, you know, a try to find a phone number or an email address or an, an email that I got from a friend, I can do the same thing. So again, finger on the, on the screen, pull down just until you get to that, you know, new open search box there. And by the way, if you have a search still in there, like we have pizza left over, see where it says right next to up in the upper right corner, it says cancel. Don't hit that one. That'll just take you back to the home screen. You want that little X that's in the search box itself right there. So if I tap on that X, it clears it out. Okay. So now if I were searching for a friend of mine, I will say Greg, it's a friend of mine there. Okay. I would find the first things I would find would be all the people in my contact list, right? So there's, you know, uh, Gregory King, Gregory Kelly, Gregory Abbott. Those are all contacts of mine. And then I have uh, some emails from people. Obviously, I got three emails from Greg there all at once. There's some more folks in my contacts, as you can see right there. Greg King, Greg Mixon. There I've got some stuff in uh, Outlook for email. I've got some text messages. I must have sent a message to my friend Gregory there because that's me. So there you go. There's, uh, you know, some notes that must have had some names in them. There's a reminder that I had to do, do something with my friend Gregory. There. So again, people, easy, right? And all you got to do, by the way, whenever you see anything in search to get to it is just tap on it. Just tap on it, any of that stuff. So let's, let's go back to our pizza example. If I go pizza and search and I want to, oh yeah, you're right. I wanted to order a pizza from Jet's Pizza Night. Just tap on it and it opens the app. Easy, right? So let's get back to that. I'm getting hungry now. I just had, never mind. I just had dinner. I know I'm getting hungry anyway. So scroll down. I can find, I don't know why it's in settings. Oh, because I think, why would Jet's Pizza be in settings? I don't know. I think it's because I was on their Wi-Fi when I was in the restaurant. So anyway, there's mail from them, all sorts of stuff, maps, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right? Now, remember, we said you can do this either way. So if I wanted to, I, and I don't want to type, or if it's easier for me to just speak it, and it usually is, look way up in the top up there. Oh, you know, while I'm, while I'm pointing, look, look, he's, he's, he's watching us, isn't he? He's, he's back there. He's back there, isn't he? You might, be, you might not be able to see that. That's our friend Wiley Coyote back there. Anyway, <laughs> the microphone up in the very top of the search box, all right? Tap on it. Say what you're looking for. Easy. Same thing. Tap. Pizza. Right? That's it. That's it. Same thing. I get the same list. There's the applications, the reminders, the files, the settings, the email. I get all the same thing. I just made it easy on myself by speaking it. Same thing with the name. If I do Gregory and it finds Greg King, emails from Greg, messages to him, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So easy. Remember, two different kinds of searches on your iPhone or iPad. All right? One of them, let's jump back, two different kinds of searches on your iPhone or iPad. One of them, Siri, who will search out in the big wide world, on the web, on a map, all kinds of things like that. All right? Or the internal search on your device, iPhone or iPad, etc. Okay. And with that, you can find anything that's on the iPhone or iPad. All right. So by the way, that works with a lot of settings and things like that. If you needed to change your Wi-Fi settings, for example, I don't know, I'm in a restaurant and I want to open my Wi-Fi settings to log into their thing. If I simply went in and either typed, let's get rid of Gregory. If I either typed or spoke Wi-Fi settings, all right. Well, all right. There's some Wi-Fi. There's some stuff. There's all kinds of crazy stuff there. But then if I tapped on Wi-Fi settings, all right, it could take it to me. Now, that's one thing, by the way, that both Siri and the search will do. So if I did Siri, open Wi-Fi settings, it ta I, let's get back to the phone. It takes me to the, to the Wi-Fi settings, right? So some things cross over, but not many, all right? With Siri, it's mostly you can use Siri. I would say the easiest thing, and I've talked about this in the past, is using Siri to open apps, 
because if you're like me, you have a phone that's like got five, six pages and you're swiping, swiping, swiping. Where did I leave that app for Jet's Pizza? Because now I'm hungry and I want to order pizza. <laughs> when I could certainly, I could, I could, you know, just go to Siri and say, open Jet's Pizza. And there it is. And it takes me right to it. So keep that in mind that you can use some things for both. But if you're searching generally for stuff that's out there on the web or a physical address of a location of a place or whatever, that's a Siri job. And if you're searching for something that's on the phone, that's a search function phone. And there's no fancy name for it or anything. It's just you literally, you know, drag down, search. There you go. Now, what's, let me get back to that just ever so briefly. When I open it, by the way, the first thing you'll see is what it says at the top there is Siri suggestions. Okay. I didn't even, I haven't even typed in anything or spoken in anything yet. So what is Siri suggestions? Why is it showing them to me like that? Well, those are just the most recent apps that I've used. So it remembers, oh, he was in settings just a few minutes ago. Maybe he needs to go back or he was in the mail or on his bank or something like that. Maybe he needs to go back. So Siri suggestions is going to remember the most used apps that you've used recently, just in the past, whatever. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. All right, that's going to do it for today. Hope you had a uh, good lesson there and learned some things. Now, remember, we talked about this uh, last week, that we have come out with uh, two great kind of handouts for you. As always, there's going to be a handout on today's program. So if you've enjoyed today's show and you want to remember what I talked about when it comes to using the search function, okay, go over to the website, over to BillSkladowski.com. There it is for you. Go over to BillSkladowski.com. And on the front home page, that's what you're going to see right there, those kids watching the video on their phone. And then also that big button that says Click Me. Click on that and put your email address in. And on Sunday, I will send you uh, one email. It's just one a week. Don't worry about it. One email that is going to have the two videos that came out this week. You know, the, uh, the new iPhone Friday video plus the What's New Wednesday video. And also the handout, the printable classroom handout of what we talked about today. There you go. Now, along with that, we're starting something new. We're adding, you're going to see this on Facebook in a few places. I'm posting it around, uh, not just on Wednesdays and Fridays. But I've got a brand new handout on what it says right there, Siri tips to make your phone fun and easy. And it's about 15 different tips that you can use for all kinds of things. Some of them are fun. Some of them are, you know, real work. Some just, if you want it, all right, if you go and same sign up, you just go to that same BillSkladowski.com website, sign yourself in. I'll send you this one too. Just saying, just my way to, you know, do a little giving back here. All right. So that's going to do it for today. Hope you had a good day. As always, if uh, you are um, looking for some specific information about how to solve a problem that you're having or need to know how to do a certain thing, we'll drop a comment, leave a question, either right here on Facebook or on YouTube or on the blog. I read and respond to all of them personally. And as I said Wednesday, we're already getting some people that are writing back and we've already had a couple of videos that have been based on, um, you know, viewer suggestions, so to speak. So that's it for today. Have yourself a great weekend. Uh, uh, stay safe out there. Keep washing those hands. And I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.